Hi guys. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about one set to failure. Not just to failure, the idea of doing one set per exercise. So if you have a back day, chest day, whatever, you will just take four or five different exercises and you will just do one set per exercise and go home. Why it is effective and why it's working on me so far, I've been doing it about three months already and I have pretty decent result. My strength is growing, my weight is growing, but not just weight, muscle mass too. I am the same lean, I'm way bigger than I was before, and of course, way bigger natural weight. Because you can compare enhanced athlete and natural athlete. If you are natural, your progress will go slowly, no matter how many sets you will do, you need to be ready for that. So, I increased my numbers definitely and I look more dense. Every single person told me that muscle density is on another level. I'm happy with that. But the idea of doing one set to failure is that you are giving enough stimulus for your muscles to grow and to build your strength too, with only one set. If you do more, most of the time if weight is pretty heavy and you're ruining your technique and second set is way harder, you're just doing junk volume, you're messing with your recovery processes, you are just basically killing your gains if you're a natural athlete. I'm talking about only natural training, because if you are not natural, your recovery processes are way different. So we don't talk about that, we are 100% natural. First of all, I want to talk about recovery. Uh, I had the situation today, I spoke to one guy and he told me that uh, I just do like four sets per exercise. I asked him why, he said that he just feels that way, he wants to do it. But sometimes he can come to the gym and sometimes he feels weaker or he feels that the results are exactly the same, he's not growing, he's not increasing his numbers, everything is the same. He can take a small step back and he will get back to those numbers again and he will reach his plateau. Uh, I also spoke to one girl, didn't speak with her, I just like asked her how many sets you have left on a lead pull down machine and she told me I just started. And I told her like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, but still, how many sets you have left? And she told me five more. And I saw that she did one before. So basically, in total, six sets, right? And uh, as far as I saw how he did, uh, how she did first set, it was to failure. So let's say six sets to failure, okay? Yes, I left, but of course I didn't say anything. But in my mind was, okay, you told me five more, but do you need five more? <laughs> of course, we're all different. We have different goals. We are not planning. Maybe some people, they're not planning to build muscle. They're planning to work on their endurance. But most of the time, people, they just have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea how to progress. And the most important thing, they have no idea why they're not progressing. And uh, that's why I wanted to talk about that at the beginning. Recovery is the key for progress. As long as you did a great job at the gym and as long as you are recovered for your next session, you will have progress no matter what, all the time, period. Uh, recovery will be the goal if you're a natural athlete. Uh, if you're not natural, of course, your recovery processes are way faster and you can just think in a normal, regular human being way. But if you are natural, of course, you need to care about like your sleep, your diet, caloric surplus in order to recover better. Of course, you need to think about stress factors, blah, blah, blah. But let's say if everything is on point, sleep, food, stress factors, everything is perfect, but you are still not progressing, you feel that plateau. What if I tell you that plateau does not exist? You just need to know, you just need to be smart and you just need to know the way how to avoid it, how to like, if you're moving forward and you see the plateau, you will just take a step left and just try to go behind it and after that keep going again. That's that simple. The thing is that most of 
the time people just do too much. They don't even realize that. They think no pain, no gain. Let's keep going. We need to go hard. Not really. Of course you can. Of course you need to do a great job. And of course you can even do more sets if you want to. But the idea is that you need to be ready for your next session. And if you feel weaker your next session, if you feel that results are the same or something's wrong, you are not recovered. If you want to do more than one set, go for it. But make sure that your recovery is on point. If you will do one set, even to failure, of course, you can't compare like five sets to failure or one set to failure. If you will do one set to failure, you will not have less benefits than five sets. Probably even more, but let's say if you will not have more benefits, benefits will be exactly the same, but your recovery will be faster. Think about it. If you never tried before, try it. Second thing, periodization. People have no idea about that at all. I'm just like, I also asked the guy, do you do periodizations? And he told me, a perio what? So a lot of people, they don't even understand that they need to periodize their intensity. They need to do heavy week, light week, volume week, basically sometimes even deload week. It just depends. And you just can't go heavy all the time, even with one set to failure. Because eventually you will also reach your plateau and you need to understand how to not to hit your plateau, how to keep going. And that's why you need to do a periodization. Even if I do one set to failure, I never try to repeat my training or do better the other week. I will go heavy one week, but the other week I will do volume. I will do more reps, but with less weight. Yes, probably Mike Menzer didn't talk about it. I'm not sure about that. I still need to learn a lot of his philosophy, but I know that I can't, even with one set to failure, I can't go heavy every single week. Next week, what I'm gonna do? I will decrease my weight, let's say even 20%. I will probably even do the same rep range from 6 to 10, but a little bit slower. I will work on my technique and I will leave one rep in reserve, sometimes maybe even two reps in reserve. Someone might say like, what the hell is that? Why you're leaving it? Is it a workout? Yes, it is. If you're trying to progress all the time, you need to be smart. You need to understand that you just can't push yourself to your limits every single session. You need still, you, someone might say, okay, maybe it's better just to like sit at home and do nothing. No, you still need to do something. You need still to do your work, but work should be lighter. You just need to relax your central nerve system in order to keep going. Basically, you're going up, after that a little bit down, after that up again, after that a little bit down, after that even higher. So every other volume week is also heavier than the last one. And every heavy week is also heavier than the last time. Progress all the time, no matter what. Of course, some days, let's say once in two months, if you feel completely exhausted, even with one set, you can take a complete deload. At, uh, that's the third thing I want to talk about. Deloads are basically, uh, they can be, for some people, some people will not even understand it, but you can even come to the gym and you can decrease your weights for 50%. And if you did like bench press 10 reps of 225, you can do 135 for 10 reps and you can leave even 20 reps in reserve. It's just basically work for your blood work in order to keep yourself moving somehow a little bit, in order to completely relax your central nerve system and keep going. Even one week of rest will work a lot. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical about it because I thought that no, you still need to train, but let's say if it's not that often, let's say once in three months, if you will take one complete week off without any trainings, but you will still do light activity outside, like you will get your steps, you will do some yard work or whatever, after one week you will come back stronger. You might feel at the beginning a little bit that your muscles are softer, that something is not how it used to be, it's totally fine. 
but you will not be weaker. You will be stronger. I tested by myself and I tested with the other people that I train. I, right now I 100% believe that uh, week off is working, but you don't have to do it pretty often. Only if you feel exhausted. Or if you feel completely exhausted, you can also come to the gym, you can still do your work just super light, super light and not even close to failure, not even like five reps in reserve. You can leave like a lot of reps in reserve. And the funny thing about training right now, and not it's not just like you guys, it's not that some people might be surprised with my information. It's not just you, you're not the only one. A lot of people, they have no idea how to train and I was like that before. I always try to push myself. I started with it. I always try to push myself every single training. And I know what I'm talking about because I started to train calisthenics long time ago. After that, I tried powerlifting, I tried bodybuilding. Right now, I'm just trying to combine everything. I'm trying to lift heavy weights. I'm trying to look good. I'm trying to. Uh, also be able to do a lot of stuff with my body weight. That's why I'm training one arm pull-ups That's why I'm training like front lever holds planche and a lot of stuff I want to feel really good while working with my body weight as well I want to be able to control it really good, but I also want to lift crazy ass weights heavy ass weights I want to look great as well So I want to combine everything and I'm pretty sure you can apply that one set method to every single uh like fitness movement i don't know like either powerlifting either bodybuilding even either power building either calisthenics maybe even gymnastics like whatever as long as you did a great job no matter what you do no matter like what are your time under tension like whatever if you are trying to lift heavier weights and you're not paying attention on time under tension like a power lifter or somebody you can still do it but think about recovery, periodization, deload. Think about all those things. Of course, we can say no pain, no gain. We have to go hard. We have to work hard. Yes, we have to. We still need to lift heavy. We still need to go to failure. We still need to work hard. But the idea of that, we need to work smart first of all. As long as you work smart, you will have your progress all the time. Feel your body and everything will be fine. I know that some people react differently. We are not the same. We are definitely not the same. Some people might react for a little bit more sets. Some people might react better for one set. Me personally, I'm a tall guy. I'm 6'4". My weight is uh, 210 right now. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, but my goal is to bulk even more i just want to be like 220 at least but of course eventually 230 lean will be amazing but i know it's a long process especially if you're staying natural and uh even that my limbs are like tall i'm, I'm tall and my limbs are like huge i have a huge leverage so basically every single exercise is a little bit harder for me and my recovery is even like way, way longer than a short person. And for me, one set approach is the best approach that I can do. If you feel different, you can still keep going. But it's not necessarily that you really have to do one set. Maybe you really wanna do more, but still think about your recovery, think about periodization. If you need to do a complete deload, take complete deload. And as long as you recovered, you will be fine. You will have progress all the time and I really wanna, I wanna motivate you guys. I wanna show you that everything is possible and I, want, I really wanna say that a lot of people, they don't believe in their natural potential. They think that they reach that number and after that they just like standing on one level all the time and they think that it's like, it, it's their limit. But in reality it's not, there is no limit. There is no limit. A lot of people talk about steroids. Yes, steroids will definitely increase recovery or something like that, but they still, it's all about recovery. It's yes, uh, processes, anabolic processes will be different. Everything will be different, magic, blah, blah, blah. But still, 
naturally you can achieve a lot and there is no limit just keep going believe in yourself and the most important thing be smart let's go let's go guys you can do it we can do it we are all gonna make it thank you so much for watching i will really appreciate if you will follow this channel if you will like this video if you will comment this video what you think about it i'm glad to see every single one of you on my channel thank you so much let's keep going let's make it happen boom